started, uh, we have a previous previous action item, which is to talk about the meeting format. So thanks everybody for <laughs> putting down your ideas in the etherpad. If you have more, please do not hesitate to write there. Uh, Rosanna and I uh, are currently discussing those, and then hopefully soon we'll be able to come back with a whole new meeting format and something much more exciting than our faces. Um, and and by, by yeah, just one one yeah. comment. By the way, um, there is the uh, um, the etherpad for the meeting for the ideas. We have a couple of ideas. Uh, go crazy, go write them, and just plus one also ideas you like. Put your name and plus one ideas you like. Yep. So that we have an idea of, of you know how these things are being pursued. Yep. So yeah, let's keep that discussion going. Um, otherwise. Let's move on to Sumo Dev updates. All right. Ricky or Kadir? Yeah. Take it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I can't speak to that. Uh, Go for it. OK, you're there. Uh, so yeah, um, this, this, this sprint is a little bit of a short one for us. We have uh, Rehan with us uh, for this one. But the Sumo Dev team is kicking ass. And you can see one example of that in the um, link provided in the etherpad for the show for implementation. So we're doing show for from scratch. And um, if you follow that link, you will see uh, our current implementation of that. Um, Mike has provided a demo page. It looks really interesting. Um, and I'm re we are very excited about that, ha having that in the product, actually. So even though it's a short one, uh, a short sprint for us, uh, lots of interesting st stuff is happening. Um, I'm pretty sure that we talked about this last week, but I uh, wanted to say this again so it's not a surprise to anyone. Um, we uh, are, or we did already remove helpful replies from their highlighted place in the support forum after we did a report on that. Uh, then we also removed the hot topics uh, from the product landing page also after a report we did on that. Um, so if you have any questions about that or any feedback about that, you can ask me, um, either email, forum, or now, <laughs> uh, if it's short. Uh, but, but yeah, so these are the things to look out for. Um, and that's, that's the uh, Sumo Dev update. Cool. Thanks, Kadir. Anybody has any questions or comments for Kadir? Don't let him get away so easily. <laughs> I wasn't sure that this demo for show for, I don't understand. It, yeah, there's some instructions required there. Yeah. <clears throat> that would yeah. be great. Okay. So quickly, what it, <clears throat> what it does is it, first of all, it only recognizes uh, four markups. So any other wiki markup is not recognized. Um, so for instance, you could type, um, you know, bracket four, you know, win and then write uh, some content and then close the for statement. <clears throat> and what you'll see in the middle in the output is you'll see whatever is the content part will be either highlighted in red or green. Um, if it's red, that means it will be hidden. If it's green, it will be shown. And so you can play with all the different ways that we write for statements and you can see what will be shown and what will be hidden. Um, and so we can kind of test the, the, the new way that show for will work before actually going and building it. Um, because it changes this. It's, it allows us to have multiple products have show for in a single article. I get it now. Yeah, so, I can see it. That's awesome. So I provided a test article. Uh, you can just copy and paste it into the uh, uh, test page uh, to see the effect of uh, the new show for code. Um, to see what exactly is going on. Yeah, but the biggest uh, improvement here for us is uh, first that we can support Firefox OS. We haven't been able to do that before, different versions of Firefox OS. But also we can uh, support different products uh, on the, in the same article, which is especially helpful for things like uh, you want to move media between your Firefox OS device and your computer. Now we can take into account what version of Firefox OS you are using and what version of the, uh, of the operating system you're using, Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, and of course, you can also take into account what version of the desktop browser you're using, but that gets a little bit far. 
um, it, it simplifies uh, the, the creation of articles for us, but also uh, uh, lets us tailor them specifically to users, which we can't do today. Awesome. Right. Thanks, thanks for the clarifications. Thanks. Could you? Okay. Uh, I just realized that Rosanna and I really look like in a new studio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need a big map behind you, right? <laughs> yeah. Or some world clock right or whatever. On community news. <laughs> we'll be updating you on the new developments on the Firefox OS launch right now and the weather in Germany. No, that's, that's you, I, honestly, you should, you should do it like this. This is more <laughs> dynamic. Actually, I love it. You, you should switch between the two of you like that. That, that would make it far yeah. more cool. I was like, David, can I, you update us on sport? Yes. So next. Well, that, that would be my last uh, topic, but, but of course. Uh, Chen, I, Chen I, I can update try. us on sports. Yeah, and that then that we can say today. something yeah, like, that, back to you, Rosanna and Madalena. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I can pretend to take notes in this. Thing I know <laughs> people do that. So next on the community meeting today, tonight, sorry, uh, live from the Berlin studio, <laughs> We'll pass the how how is it? We'll pass the connection to UX update to Kadir again. So, all right. So yeah, the most interesting thing that is currently going on in UX land is the uh, change to the new uh, to the forum uh, views um, and how we want to do that. If you want to stay on top of that, you can uh, follow the tracker back uh, as I said last week. Or no, I wasn't here last week. Uh, as somebody else has said last week. Uh, probably Ricky. Uh, so that's what's that. That is the most interesting thing. Um, that's going to be a huge change in the forums. Uh, so if you want to stay on top of that, but also give feedback on that, or just you want to know what's what's going on, um, you can follow either the bugs or again, like always, email me, post in the forums, say something. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Uh, any questions about this? Take one, take two. Okay. Um, if no questions, then we'll move on to round table. And I see Philip wrote something here, but Philip is not online. No. Okay. So, Philip is saying, if you have an Android or Firefox OS device and you want to help mapping your surroundings for a, the newly launched Mozilla Location Service, let's join forces as a sumo team. So, apparently there is a new launch uh, Mozilla Location Service, and it'd be great if everybody could chip in and uh, help with that. Philip opened um, a thread on the support forum, so please check it out, and if you can help, please do. It would be awesome. Right, Michelle? Yes, <laughs> this is cool. I'm just reading about it now. I didn't know anything about this, so thanks, Philip. And, <laughs> well, I wanted to say that the team, I mean the Sumo team, uh, cool. has been kicking some serious ass there. Oh yeah. We are going up as a team, and I think this is really cool that we are having this community initiative, uh, you know, with the Sumo team going and trying to uh, uh, to get things done in the Sumo name. So really very cool, Eddie, uh, Robert. We met Eddie in London, right? Uh, he's a super nice guy. Hello, Eddie. Thanks a lot for organizing this. Philip also. <laughs> yeah. No, Eddie, Eddie and Philip worked together oh, working yeah, on this. Ed, Eddie and Philip. Philip, thanks a lot. I, I saw your name was uh, on the top list of the, of, the, of the helpers, so thanks. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's awesome that people are taking initiative to, to help out here. So, yeah, thanks again. So I didn't uh, see this. You can join a team. You join the Sumo team. There's, like, teams of... Not really. Uh, so you just use the same uh, nickname, and uh. then... And the software thinks, yeah, so then it's one person yeah, <laughs> who, who lives everywhere. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't uh, see who contributed how much. But well, that's cool, team. That, yeah, that but that's cool, cool then, everywhere. as a team. Yeah, right. yeah no, it's, it's super team, cool. We do uh, live everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, All cool. right. So thanks for that. Uh, and I see, Michael, you have an update on the Australis. Project, you want to talk about it? Ooh, sure. So, um, this is something I've been working on for a long time, but um, um, I will try to blog about this later this week and then again in like in two weeks, but just quickly. Um, so, right now, when Firefox updates, most of the time we don't say anything because we want to keep that, um, 
we don't want to interrupt you, right? We just changed a few things, some security updates, tweaks to things, so we don't. Uh, you just start up Firefox and you have a new version. You don't. You didn't even know. But uh, uh, next spring, we're going to update Firefox, and it'll be one of the biggest, uh, visually, it'll be one of the biggest updates that we've done since Firefox 4. So it'll look completely different. Um, and so we're going we're gonna to have an, an update experience. We're going to build an update experience. We, we have, in the past, we've done things like we have a what's new page that loads when you open Firefox for the first time after an update. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to build on that. You'll, we'll still open a what's new page with a list of things that we've changed. Um, but the, we've added some new capabilities to Firefox. So now that page can actually interact with Firefox. So it can do things like open menus and highlight things in the menu or highlight things in the toolbar. And it's, so it's interactive. It'll, it'll say like, look, we, we changed this thing. And it, you know, opens a menu, and so you can see, oh, got it, that menu, you changed it. So um, next week I'll be in San Francisco working with a bunch of people, and we'll be actually building um, this new uh, experience, possibly also one for brand new users. Um, it, that may come a little bit later. So anyway, I'll share more details about this later this week, and then in two weeks I should actually, well, actually have we should have some things to show, like you could play with it in nightly or something, which will be nice. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm actually looking really, forward. I think this is a great opportunity to demonstrate how support can also integrate nicely in products and be more proactive than just helping people who already have a problem. So we've already, we've always been proud of our proactive support initiatives, but I think this is one of the coolest ones so far. So kudos to Michael for, for driving this from the Sumo side and for hosting the work week in San Francisco. It's awesome. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right. Any questions about this? So it's a Take little on. bit like a tour of the update. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. OK. So let's move on. Uh, anybody around who can talk about Firefox Desktop? No? Is anybody okay. from user advocacy? Because we wrote a new article um, for a Firefox 25 issue that we were anticipating, but I don't know how that's uh, going in terms of uh, actual um, issues out in the wild. There, there was um, a problem with this um, oh, BitGuard software which is sort of semi malware, un unwanted wear, and it causes startup crashes or just general crashes in Firefox 24, 25, and newer. And it's the kind of thing like you will sometimes be bit like on update. So you just update it, and now all of a sudden it starts causing a crash, and you're like, whoa, what happened? You think it's Firefox, but it's really this other stuff. And Cheng, they thought it could affect quite a few users, millions and millions. Two to twenty million, but uh, sorry, uh, Michael, we'll was this uh, documented also in the computer forums? Because I know there's a thread about issues there. Do you know? I don't know. But we can check. Anyway, yeah. it would be good to make sure that everybody knows about it. Okay. So if we have nothing for desktop, then let's move on to super exciting Firefox OS. Wants to take this one. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I put these updates in there. Um, yes, Brazil, Mexico, Peru, Uruguay last week, and the week before. Very exciting. Thanks to all the volunteers helping answer questions, and of course working on localizing um, articles and updates to articles in Spanish and Brazilian Portuguese. Uh, Ralph is on his way to Brazil to participate in an in-store event that's happening on the 9th at some gigantic mall, a mall so big, there are four McDonald's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Huge. I, I like and, that. Uh, that is huge. standard for malls now. <laughs> right? I can't imagine such a place. Or maybe, just, or maybe they just like McDonald's, who knows? <laughs> right. 
It'll be they'll be at um, a Vivo outlet there, and um, I think they're working on getting some little cards made that have information about Sumo on them um, for people to learn how to um, join in, learn how to contribute to Sumo, and also how to get support if they have any questions about their awesome FireWeb um, or OneTouch Fire um, after they buy it. So, um, and then. Uh, of course, we already have um, some press release from Telenor about Serbia, Hungary, Montenegro coming before the end of this year. So that's where we're looking toward um, for the next few months. So if you want to get involved in that, if you're in Serbia or Hungary or Montenegro or anywhere near there, and you speak any of those languages. Um, like Europe in general? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, then uh, let us know, and we can hook you up uh, with what's going on there for Firefox OS. Are there other people on the call who have updates on Firefox OS? Kadir, have you received a phone in Germany yet? Yes, I received <laughs> my work? phone on Saturday. Yay! <laughs> Two phones. Hi. Uh, I'm very happy about them, actually. I've been using them today all day long, uh, one of them, and I'll send the rest along. <laughs> That's great. Cool. So I your have out of box experience was great, and it worked, and everything. Yeah, the first uh, start experience was actually pretty good. Um, Did the you put it up on YouTube, the unboxing <laughs> experience? No, I didn't yet. Uh, but I, I intend to do that. Actually, I didn't want to mention that, but yes, I wanted to uh, record the unboxing of, of one of those devices. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Why do you need to do that? Cool. Well, the first one, I was just too eager. I, I just wanted to, like, I, I wanted to see what it, was, open. what it would look like. Yeah, exactly. I actually, I ripped it off. <laughs> That's true. So you're the Firefox OS monster. Pretty much. Pretty much. There you <laughs> That's great. I'm glad to hear that. There, I also found there is a Kongstar app in the marketplace if you want to try it out and see whatever it says. Because I don't know what it says. But um, uh, it yeah. does look like it has a support section and a few other things. And chat it's it's pre-installed on the device, actually. Is it? Oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's very exciting. Um, Lots of games. <laughs> really? Yeah, lots of games. Uh, now, like screen, now, you're, games. now you're signing yourself up for some <laughs> screenshots. Absolutely, why not? Please. Please send them over. <laughs> Absolutely, especially since I wrote the Sumo article on the screenshot taking. Yes, so yes. I'll definitely take the screenshot. <laughs> okay, great. Um, I got a borrowed an on loan uh, FireWeb all the way from Brazil that Grace gave me. And it's yeah. also quite amazing. A lot of fun to use. Um, that's it for Firefox OS. Are other people? having new devices or anything they want to share? Questions? Any questions? Well then, R Madalena, it's back to you at the news desk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. That's awesome news from mm -hmm. 4504 OS. <laughs> oh my god, so this, is, uh, this is... Awesome. is this, <laughs> this is not how to do news in Sweden. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear about They're this. doing it wrong in Sweden. Yeah, <laughs> Watch the, the American. How do, you, how do you do the news in, in, in Sweden, Damon? We're very punctual. That's, that's <laughs> all that matters. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do news first. Okay, back to Berlin. What's the next update? <laughs> next update is Firefox for Android. Please roll on if you could share it. Thank you. <laughs> is that's that more right? like the Soviet version of the news. <laughs> <laughs> I, am live from, I am live from Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> and it is cold by Vancouver standards, which means it's less than 10 degrees Celsius. <laughs> and we are um, finishing up the Firefox 26 uh, KB update Etherpad, where we do our research. Um, Swarnava updated, thank you. I'm going to look at that this week. Uh, the side point is, as part of the Firefox 26 cycle, we're, we're going to revamp the uh, Android articles in the same way Michael revamped some of the Firefox OS articles, particularly with uh, respect to the settings that changed in 25. And I know there's a thread below that sworn out pointed to, and that's exactly what I'm talking to about. So that's all good. You can help us, as always, with the re research Etherpad, which is linked there for Firefox 26. And 
For Firefox 25, we have some GAGL-related issue, which appears not to affect too many people. And otherwise, it's yet another smooth release. Firefox 26 is going to have this revamp start screen, which should be um, super awesome. That's it. Questions? Yeah, I just wanted to say about the timing for that, for that uh, change. I, I put a little note. It's there also in the knowledge base things. There's a link to a contributor forum post. I'm not sure about the timing of it. We'll have to see yeah. how much work 26 is all together. Right. And, yeah. we, might, we might do partial Some in 26 yeah. and partial in 27. But I Part think we have a plan for this cycle anyways that we may not Right. Uh, yeah. Part of the work is to come up with a plan. That's what we haven't done yet. And I will we'll post a link plan. to the spreadsheet and people can help out with the plan, at least the researching of the plan. OK? Uh, can I want a Thunderbird Berlin? Yes, please. <laughs> um, we have Thunderbird 24.1 that was released last Tuesday. I was away. I don't know if there are any issues, but I know we have an ongoing McAfee issue because just like BitGuard on desktop, there's always issues with these antivirus supposedly protecting you software. So if anyone is um, brave enough to run Windows and would like to help me with McAfee, please uh, work with me by emailing me or pinging me at RC. And uh, otherwise, Wayne, Mary, and I will continue to work to um, beat on this one to death with the McAfee people. And Thunderbird 24 appears to be OK as well. Great stuff. OK, any questions about Thunderbird or Firefox or Android or Toronto or Vancouver or Roland in general? I just got back from Toronto. It was raining there. It was Vancouver weather. Okay. <laughs> so what's the weather? The weather in Toronto? <laughs> Probably the same as in Berlin. Raining. Cold, rainy, gray, depressing. Back to you. Back to you. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Back, back, awesome. to, back to rainy Germany, we have Kadir who will talk today about metrics. All so right. what's new in the metrics world, Kadir? Thank you, Rosanna Madalena. Let me tell you quickly about metrics. Um, so <laughs> as, as, if you look at the KPI dashboard, you will realize that uh, a lot of our numbers are going up. That is, of course, due to seasonal changes. Um, as you know, the summer is over, as you just mentioned too. <laughs> um, and our, uh, use, especially our visitor numbers, but also our contributor numbers are going up. So that is no change um, that we w were expecting and it's happening now. Other than that, most of the other indicators that we have are uh, mostly flat, which again, I'm not sure if that is a good or bad thing, but <laughs> that's the state we are in. <laughs> so back to you, back to Berlin. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say, I think that if you look at the contribution numbers, uh, I wanted to say in terms of localization, we have a uh, we are seeing a lot more contributors this year compared to last year, uh, if you look at the, the, the number of active users and compared to 2011. So I just wanted to say thank you, everyone. I think it, you know, we, we have attracted many people with Firefox OS, but it's also the bodies who are helping people get on board, uh, the new tools and everything. And I think also for, for the forums too, the numbers are going up. People are being yep. more active, are getting things solved, are being more efficient. So just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, thanks, That's everybody. Yes, Michael. Yeah, if you look at the exit survey, not that we've done anything in particular to try, you know, the exit survey is um, surveys people about the, their overall support experience. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it at a monthly scale, since we've been, since this graph started, we were at 49% for July, 48% for August, 49% for September, and then we jump up to 52% for October, which is that's a pretty good, uh, that's a 6% jump uh, in one month. That seems fairly significant. Uh, Do you know that it's significant? No, it's, uh, that's why I didn't mention it, actually. Uh, ah. we, we have a confidence interval of 10%. 10, 10 <laughs> so unfortunately, anything that is in that window, it could be total, it's by chance. It might be by chance. Well, just, um, let's just play with the idea that this was significant. Michael, what, what was going to be your theory? The trend is positive. Uh, no, I didn't have a theory. I was just pointing that out. Oh, okay. We've well, done it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. 
kudos for the enthusiasm. That's great. Yeah. Well, it could be a sign that it's something that will become statistically significant eventually. Yeah. So we well, should start to look into if there are any changes that we've done that could contribute to this. Do we need to survey more users so we can have a higher yes, level? Because that's 10% that's is pretty big, right? Yeah. That's, yeah that's, well, Yes, uh, but also we are. I'm looking into ways to get more people on the survey. So th there is a, a delicate balance you have to strike between nagging people and actually getting numbers uh, from them. Uh, so at this point, I don't think uh, we we are doing the best possible job. So there are there is still room for improvement in how many people we are getting on the surveys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's also true. It's that lo it looks good though. It is related to the increase on helpfulness. Uh, if you check out the numbers of the helpfulness on the articles, it's, it's, it's following the same pattern. So maybe there's some relations there, and we can assume that we can. We, we're doing better as long as the graphs are going up. Uh, even if like, <laughs> could be that we're doing a little bit worse or a little bit better. But let's assume that we're doing it better. Up yes, and to the are. right. <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. Any question? Any other questions about metrics? Well, I, I guess a related question is: for the helpful votes for the articles, do we have? Do we know what's what's significant? Do you, what's the what's the precision interval for for that graph? Because it seems like it's mostly flat, but you, but there is an upward trend in the last month. So I'm curious if that's something that we can secure well, statistically or if it's also we, just noise we've changed um it's it's mostly driven by um uh, i think uh, right now it's some in product links which yeah. we've which have been changed so for instance the if you get the slow startup uh info bar you're now linked to the um uh, reset article which has been higher rated than the previous article that was linked there um, hopefully that will even get used more now that it saves your tabs, windows and tabs. We'll see in Firefox 25. I mean, uh, so I expect that article to, to be a little bit more helpful. We'll see. Um, but some other things like we now link, um, there's a link to updating Firefox from Mozilla.org, all kinds of stuff like that that we're getting lots of views and votes from. Yeah, so my David. question is about the, the uh, confidence interval for this graph. Oh, I don't for the know what the confidence is. is Canadian, that, that's huh? what I'm curious about. Can we can we tell if that is a significant change from, for example, the it's been trending upwards from August all the way up to October. The helpfulness article votes percent helpful has been going upwards. So I'm curious to see if that's something that we we know is is statistically uh, significant or if it's just noise. So. Assuming um, that, that this is a random sample, which unfortunately it is not, yeah. um, it would be significant, yes, because we have a huge number of votes every day. Um, I think something right. like 20,000 votes or so. So yes, uh, the precision is incredibly high. Unfortunately, this is not a random uh, selection. <laughs> uh, so with a, if you don't have a random selection, then essentially most of the tech, uh, statistical tools that I know won't work. Um, yeah. Well, we it could is. just assume like it, it is one. <laughs> it, is, it, is, right. it is heavily driven by what article is on top, basically. And uh, that then is, it, you cannot extrapolate that to the whole KB, the whole knowledge base. Well, to be fair, though, uh, the articles that get the most votes are mostly also the articles that get the most views. Um, and that tells so me that this is not a good there. KPI for us to track. I, I'm, I'm yeah. just not yeah. super confident that this is the, the, the graph that we should be looking at. Mm -hmm. No, we shouldn't be. Yeah. So let's figure out what, which graph we should be looking at, because we, we need to have a KPI for the knowledge base that is actually useful, that can... That can tell us if we're doing a good job or not. And I, it, it's clear that this doesn't, because there are so many variables that well, uh, influence this graph, such as what you just said, which articles you choose to, to promote. That well, will well, 
this is still a good thing to uh, to to look at, but not probably not on this page, or maybe not on this page. It's it's a good indicator for whether we are sending people to the right articles, um, because that's what mm. most the people are uh, voting for here. Um, okay. So if you send a lot of people to the wrong articles, that helpfulness will go down. Because yeah. um, we yeah. see that those things turn up as spikes in this. You'll see a yeah. big like we had recently a big increased spike that was particularly traffic driven to one article from a blog post uh, newsletter. Guys, uh, I think maybe, sorry, sorry to interrupt. I think that maybe this conversation deserves a little bit more of time, maybe in the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Because I think that, you know, we still have a, a bunch of topics. So uh, if you want to gather your thoughts, maybe we can do it on the platform uh, uh, meeting. Because I think we need a little bit more of time, no? Yes. Sorry, I, I, I think that's, 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 Rosanna, that's the right call. and. and just to sort of conclude, what I would like to see is I'd like to know that we're looking at something that we can that we can know for sure tells us if we're doing a good or bad job. Not that that is not just telling one dimension of the story. And ideally, I'd like to see this for all products. So per product, I'd like to know for Firefox OS what is the tr what is the trend and what are we doing right, what are we doing wrong, and why is it trending upwards or why is it trending downwards. So so yeah, I think that there's a conversation that we should have probably in the platform meeting. Uh, to, to figure this thing out. Yeah. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, let's move on then to something so much more fun than metrics. That is community. Uh, that could be more fun. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's unfair. I, I thought, I, this is really intriguing <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, fun, how dare you? <laughs> numbers, I love numbers. All right. Yeah, numbers are so much cool. Anyway, so community, um, we have a few things here. So first of all, if this is a call to action to everybody in the Sumo community, if you know people or if you are one of those people who are invited to the summit but couldn't make it because of visa, personal issues or something else, mm -hmm. please let me know. Um, I put my, uh, my email address there. Please write me an email because I have a small surprise. But I cannot tell what. So you have to write to me. <laughs> um, yeah, so because I, I know there were quite a few people who couldn't make it, and mostly because of visa issues. So I feel your pain. So please um, do write me an email, and then we'll figure something out. Thank you. Okay, uh, I wanted to make a little advertisement here. Don't miss this week's buddy meeting, and uh, buddies and people interested in being buddies. Um, Yusuf and I had a little uh, work week last week in London and we rethought many things uh, around the buddy program so we would like to show you what we did and get your thoughts on them. So this Friday I posted there the Etherpad. We hope there's no confusion around time zones and we'll see you there. Don't miss it. That was the first thing and the second thing is if you click there, that's a picture of the Simonians that were at MOSFET. Uh, Robert, you were there. Ooh. Yusuf was there. Siggy, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, so you can get an idea of who is there, and uh, Yusuf also posted a, a, did a blog post on, on the MOSFET, so check it out. Uh, it's pretty cool. As you see, the guys are pretty tall all. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not short. I'm not short at all. It's just they're super tall. Uh, That's such no, 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 no. Rosanna is as tall as Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. But not as yes. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> not during work time, at least. Uh, <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> All right, thanks Rosanna for this very important update. Uh, do you guys have any questions for us or about community? If not, I'll move on quickly to knowledge base. Back to San Antonio. Yeah, just quick, <laughs> just a quick update. Um, well, the the Android thing we already talked about. The other one just. Um, you know, I posted a couple like a month ago about work on Firefox OS articles, consolidating and, uh, and reworking articles. And uh, much of that work is done. There's still a little bit left to go. Um, but just an update that that's where we are. And soon uh, we'll be working on the new IA for, for that. Um, and I just wanted to thank everybody who's uh, localized um, all of those articles, especially in our new launch locales and everything. And I see Sornavar wrote something here. 
No, that was the thing about the Firefox 25 oh, okay. uh, Android articles that uh, Roland talked about in his thing. It's just a link. It was a is a note for Swarnarva to look at that thread, which okay. he should already be subscribed to. Should see, yeah, he already subscribed. Yeah, I think that'll be that's all well covered. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Um, so, any questions for Michael and the knowledge base? Uh, for the new IA, will we localize strings before we implement it? I would assume so. I, I'm not sure. Do, Kadir, do you know how, how, what's the process there? Yeah, we can absolutely do that. Unfortunately, of course, it depends on how fast localizers can get on it, uh, which we don't control. So uh, we would have to make a judgment call there. Um, we can give localizers like 10 days, 5 days, or how an arbitrary amount of days until we push this to production. We should make that sure that there's great. a communi communication plan for that so that localizers are aware of it in time. So I, I imagine that we will lock down the strings prior to implementing this thing. So once we've done that, we should, we should push out communication to localizers to make sure that they have a chance to do it. All right. Yep. Yep. All right. Thank you. So, Rosanna, what's new in LTNN? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's new is what's new on Firefox 25, right? Uh, so back to San Antonio, back to Berlin. Actually, um, this time for tw Firefox 25, we have a shorter list uh, of articles that need to be uh, updated. Um, thanks, Michael, for getting that. It's uh, posted in the in the forum, and um, I. Um, oh, I didn't post the link here, sorry. Um, I will post the link here in the etherpad. Um, I might have it. Here it is, sorry. I just, I, I looked for it, but I didn't, I didn't post it. There it is. So that's the list of the articles uh, for the localizers uh, interested in helping us. Thanks a lot. Um, in terms of Firefox OS, I just wanted to say that Hungarian is uh, picking up. We have some new contributors over the <laughs> weekend who have been doing a lot of work and uh, Kalman, as usual, he's already reviewing things, so um, I think that things are looking much better. Just a weekend changed everything. Things are going very, very good uh, on Hungarian. Thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, Serbian, amazing. Italians and Germans, as usual, you're working your magic to get things translated. So thanks, everyone, uh, who's uh, uh, now getting ready for Firefox OS. Um, a special thanks again to the Russian community. Um, you know, you guys are keeping everything uh, at 100%. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, for a long time, I know that Alexander, he was doing a, a wonderful job. He was alone, but now, you know, there's a team and they're doing very well. So thanks, special thanks to you guys. Do you know how many people are, are translating to Russian? David, we have a feature for that. Yes, I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it the number. <laughs> no, that's great. I should, I should obviously look, look in the dashboard. Sorry for asking stupid questions. No, 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 no problem. I'm glad to show you that, David. We have seven people who have, and you have been, wait, David, why is your photo there? Hmm? Have you been translating to Russian? Um, yeah, you know, in my <laughs> spare time. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. I, I think I may have this in the last 90 days, really? That, yeah. That's, yeah, I would file a bug for that because I'm yeah. pretty sure I haven't had, I've, I've been pretty occupied in the last 90 days, to be honest. <laughs> and it hasn't been Russian translation. <laughs> uh, it's, it's identity theft. Yeah, this Somebody is, has stolen your identity to translate articles into Russian. Well, I mean, this actually... Just they, in. It was just <laughs> a facade, this whole thing. Yeah, identity theft. happened in my life. I was, in, in reality, I was just translating articles to, to Russian. Yeah. That's, that's what I've been working on, and building yeah, a secret we, helicopter in a garage. Like those. <laughs> Stop hiding! You are the secret Russian uh, localizer. Localizer. Are you the? I top already one? love my alternate persona. This is great. <laughs> and don't be fooled. He knows lots of languages. <laughs> All right. No, I would. I, honestly, I would file a bug because I, or I'd like to see the log because I have no idea what I might have done in a Russian article. <laughs> Just broken something. It's okay. Um, okay. Uh, so there are at least six. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're not but, but six people. Right. 
at least half a dozen. I mean, I, I just checked, David. Uh, there's actually, actually there's two articles listed under your name, um, and then I checked the history, and you haven't done anything. So, yes, you haven't been contributing to Russian. Well, I don't know. Sounds like me. It's like there's a log. I haven't done anything. <laughs> All right. The secret Russian translator. Yeah. No. <laughs> he, he turned out to not be as exotic as I thought. He was pretty pretty close to the original David. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks so for yeah. The clarification. Yeah. Thanks for the Russian community, and we'll get we'll get David, who's um, who was not really helping out of there, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, just kidding, David. Well, I'm happy to be part of the community, so don't take me away, please. Uh, I'll, I'll, okay. So David is I'll, a new member of the Russian community. <laughs> I'll pick it up. I'm sure. I'll write to him about for any questions you may have about Russia. Uh, very cool. Yeah. And back to Madalina with the support forum. Yes, so exciting news from the support forum part. First of all, we have new forums joining the club. So I just wanted to say welcome Slovenian. Welcome, welcome to the amazing um, world of the forums which are held which are hosted on Sumo. Um, and then soon to come we'll have Hungarian, Serbian and Finnish. So our first Scandinavian forum um, coming up. Stay tuned. Um, then on the English forum, we had last week quite a few successes. We hit 100% uh, in 24 hours, three times in a row. So well done, everybody, and thanks so much for your efforts. Uh, one fun fact, on October 28th, we had 100 questions and 100% uh, reply rate, which was Really cool. um, and then, very interesting, on o October 26th, we had a 43% salt rate, which is the highest until now. So thanks, everybody, for all your efforts. That's a really, really good achievement right there. 43% um, salt rate, that's almost half. <laughs> so that's amazing. Uh, well done. So that shows that we can do it. We can totally do it. Also, I think uh, maybe a clarification, because this. this I, I kind of worry about the optics of the 43% being celebrated, but the reality is that this is including all the people who don't even decide to go back and tell us that the, their solution was solved. So mm -hmm. in reality, we are helping far more people than 43% of the mm -hmm. people that come to the website. Uh, so it is a very impressive number. We, we just have some issues with the optics of that number looking incredibly low when it's in fact super high. Yeah, yeah. the truth is that with everything that we have now, uh, we're actually doing quite well. So when we will tweak a bit the system <laughs> uh, and clarify um, everything, then we'll probably have a lot, a, a much higher number than we have now. Anyway, it's, it's outstanding work uh, and it takes a lot of effort. So again, I wanted to say thanks to everybody participating in the support forum on English. Uh, and that's it. Any questions about this? support forum. That's cool. That's cool. This is great. It also is yeah. the moderators doing a good job of going back and marking stuff, um, putting them in the right categories, right? So thanks to yeah. all the mods doing an awesome job. The mods are rocking it. Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's move on to contributors of the week. The most exciting stuff so I just want to nominate two people. First of all, Alice, who is super good at keeping us on track. <laughs> I'm following up on bugs and reminding us of stuff. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Alice. We, uh, thank you, Alice. I know you are the, the one who is organizing us. <laughs> You're our project manager. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for, for doing that. Um, and then I also want to nominate Computer Wiz. Uh, who joined us in March, and he just came the third in the top forum contributors list in the last month, just after Corel wow. and Jayshare, which wow. are wow. our long-time contributors. So well done, Computer Wiz. I know that it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to get there. So very well done, uh, and thanks again for all your efforts. Yeah, um, I want to nominate Yusef uh, because Yusef spent six days, including the weekend of his vacation, working very tirelessly to help the, the Mozilla project. He was not only a volunteer at the MozFest, you know, where he was helping everyone, distributing SWA, getting everyone in, um, but he then spent three days with me at the London office and we 
spend a lot of time brainstorming and trying to think how to make the body program better and how to uh, make it easier. So thanks, you, thanks very much, uh, Yusuf, for taking the time. And it's actually it's, it's a lot of time and a lot of effort. And it was yeah. very nice to finally work with him in person. Very nice. Yes, Yusuf is great. Mm -hmm. I concur. <laughs> cool. Any other nominations or any other questions? Any other praise for a great community? Praise the Lord. That's about the only thing we haven't praised. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Um, and the Lord can mean many things, so keep that in mind. <laughs> very, very forgiving and accepting in this group. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, closing time. So we have a few action items, actually only one. For Kadir, Kadir, you need to lead the discussion about finding a better top level KPI. So put that on your to-do list. And otherwise, this is your last chance to say anything. So, speak now or speak now or forever hold your peace. Praise the Lord. I think we I think this meeting might hold part of the keys to uh, making these meetings more engaging. So keep the spirit up, Madalena and Rosanna. I think this is pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. Me okay. too. Let's hear that. Well, that's it from now from Berlin office. Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good night. Goodbye. Right. Uh, keep it, keep it at the level. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. That's good awesome. night from Vancouver. And have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, Bye. tschüss. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.